All right, everybody. Hi, um, my name is Megan Sayani. So if you guys haven't been on a call with me before and you're a brand new coach to the team, I just wanted to say hi and welcome. And um, we're going to do what I like to call a getting started right call, which is basically just kind of like your first introduction to what it is we do as a beach body coach. Like I know that you've talked with your coach and you've done our challenge groups and you've done our programs and you've done our products and now you're a coach and you're like, okay, now what? Like, what is the stuff I'm supposed to do? It can be very, very overwhelming, like any new job in the beginning, and it's a lot of information. So for some of you, you're repeating this call, which is not abnormal, um, because the activities that I'm going to go over in this call, um, it's kind of something that you need to practice and kind of revisit until you find your groove with it. So, you know, when you get off this call, if you feel overwhelmed, just know that that's totally normal. Um, I'm going to plow through a lot of information. It's really basic stuff, um, but it just comes at you all at one time. And just know that I felt the same exact way when I first started. And you learn and you just fail forward and you dive in and you figure it out as you go, like any other job. Um, so the first thing I just want to talk to you guys about before we get started with like the daily activities and things that like we expect of a Beachbody coach um, is your reason for doing this. I want you to really think about that. Like, why did you decide to take that extra step and become a coach? If it was just for the discount, I'd like to think that you wouldn't be on this call because anyone can have a discount on our products and programs. So if you're on this call, it's because you want to get something more out of this. You want this to financially provide something for your life. And I find with a lot of coaches, they say, well, it would be nice if... I could cover a car payment. It would be nice if I could make $100 a week. It would be nice if I could quit my job. And the thing is, is I've been in this business for three years and I've worked with coaches at all levels of the business from top 10 in the company out of 400,000 coaches all the way down to brand new baby coach. And I can promise you that whatever you want to get out of this opportunity, it's possible. It is 100% possible. So don't put any limitations on yourself and really change your mindset to say, I will make $100 a week. I will cover my car payment. I will cover my mortgage in one month. I will send my kids to private school. I will take a vacation. You know, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And that mindset is a really powerful thing. So when you enter into this opportunity, I want you to tell yourself that you are going to get what you want to get out of this. And I'm going to tell you today the stuff that you need to do to make it happen. Now, if you're one of my personally sponsored coaches, I sent you like a welcome email or I tagged you in it in the um, team page. I'll go to the team page right now and I will just um, type a little heart into the comment of that file. And what that'll do is it'll populate it to the top of the um, what do you call it? Top of the newsfeed. Actually, it's not going to let me do that. But here's what I can do. I think I can copy it and paste it into this thread real quick. So I have this welcome letter. Let's see. Desktop. Well, that was so nice. Sorry, my husband and son are doing puzzles. Where'd it go? Here it is. Okay. Now I think that there's a way for me to drop this in the chat. Let me say, nope, it won't. I thought I could, but you know what I think I can do? Let's go back to Team Believe and Achieve. I can add this file in this way. Okay. Add a file. Sorry. Okay, here it comes. So I just dropped a file in the team page. It'll take just a second to load. In this file, I talk about a couple things. I talk about Success Club and I talk about going Emerald. And those are kind of like the backbones of launching this business, like the two most basic things that you're going to want to do as quickly as possible. Success Club is basically 
helping two to four people a month get started with some sort of challenge pack. And our challenge packs, as you know, are that combination of Shakeology and a program purchased together. Every time you sell a challenge pack, so whether that's 21 Day Fix in Shakeology, Insanity in Shakeology, T25 in Shakeology, whatever it is, you get two success club points. We have our all access challenge pack, which is every single program in the arsenal streamed for a year with Shakeology. That's three success club points. So you can literally get started on some, it's only two. Did they change that? March 1st. Really? Two, yep. Two now? In the announcement, when it was, they said they were gonna extend it. They dropped it to two. Oh yeah, look at this. I know, I was bummed out. <laughs> okay, so it's still two, which is what it used to be up until January, February. So basically every time you get started, someone started with a program in Shakeology, you get two points. So to achieve success club, you need to help three people get started. And when you do that, it creates residual income for you. So basically what ends up happening is it's March. You bring three people into our challenge groups in March. And then what ends up happening in April, they either join our team as a coach or their Shakeology will ship back out. And that's how you start creating that residual income because every month you're adding new people into the business and every month that income is recurring, whether it's in the form of like team volume because you're starting to build a team or whether that's in the form of Shakeology sales and retail commissions. Hang on one second. Can you, can you go in there please? It's very distracting. Thanks. Um, so that's how you create residual income in your business. So that's why it's like the most important benchmark. It's something that you're going to want to get after really quickly is figuring out how you can reach people. And you're probably thinking, well, I don't know if I know people or I don't know if I want to post on social media. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm going to map it all out for you guys. And I promise if you do these things every day in the month of March, you will hit success club because I see it happen every day. The coaches that hit success club are the coaches that show up and do this stuff. And then what ends up happening with Success Club is you start bringing people into our challenge groups who, much like yourselves, fall in love with the products and programs and decide to take it a step farther and become a coach. That's when you go what we call Emerald. Going Emerald means that you have gotten two people to join underneath of you. And when you do that, that's huge because then you can start tapping into additional income, free leads from the company, and it just gets you one more step to growing like a, a team. And that's kind of ultimately the goal. You want to be bringing people in every month, getting them amazing results, and then growing your team alongside that at the same time. And when you can do both of those successfully month after month after month, you can have a six-figure income much like myself. I promise. I have hit Success Club and brought coaches onto the team every month for the past 35 months. And that is why I have this team, the size that I have this team. It doesn't happen overnight and you have to work for it. It's not something that's just kind of handed over to you. Um, but you can grow a very, very, very nice side income by doing just some simple things. And I'm gonna go over them for you guys now. So the first is really just to be that proof that the products work. Coaching is amazing accountability. If you ever, you know, thought that you needed like someone or something to make you work out every day, like this is it. Like there are days that I just don't want to, but it's my job. I have to. I get paid to do this now and that's awesome. I have a hundred people in my challenge group right now that are expecting me to work out. I have a team of people that I'm telling to work out and I have to lead by that example for the team and I do it every single day without fail. And I drink my Shakeology without fail and I use our performance line without fail. I drink Energize and Recover and I love our products and programs. I do every new program when it releases. I'm always working a program in its entirety and I'm an Insanity Live instructor now. So, you know, that first and foremost is the most important thing. And when coaches come in to the team, they start working the business. And sometimes I'll see them start to like sacrifice workouts to like get work done. And that's like the worst thing you can possibly do. So that's the first thing I like to go over is just being that proof that our products work. 
If you're going to sell our products, you have to use our products and believe in our products and be passionate about our products. Um, the second thing is personal development. When I first got started, I thought that sounded so crazy and stupid. Like, what, am I supposed to just drive around and listen to self-help books? Like, people are going to think I'm nuts. They help tremendously because this business is all about mindset. All about mindset. Fitness is an emotional connection that you have with people. Um, Multi-level marketing is emotional. You have to talk to a lot of people. You have to give a lot of yourself to others. And there will be days that you're going to second guess yourself. And, you know, reading these books and listening to these podcasts really kind of helps strengthen your mind. Um, another thing is I was fortunate when I got started that I had a business management degree and sales experience. And I also had a minor in finance. So business made sense to me, but we bring a lot of coaches into this team that have no sense of business whatsoever. So there's a lot of really great books out there for network marketers that help with that and really help strengthen that like business savviness that kind of comes with this. Because even if you've never sold a thing with Beachbody, like you are a business owner. So reading one chapter a day of a book or a podcast or a tool that can help you strengthen that is very, very valuable. A book that I'm reading right now that I'm realizing would be amazing for new coaches is The Slight Edge. It's awesome. Let me grab it. I'll hold it up. Okay. The book I'm reading right now is called The Slight Edge. And right on the cover, it says, turning simple disciplines into massive success and happiness. That's really powerful. That's what I'm going to talk about today. That's what I'm going to go over today. Everything that I'm talking about is going to be a discipline that I'd like to see you implement into your daily life. And when you do that over time, the compound effect kicks in and it becomes massive success for you. I promise. I wouldn't be telling you to do this if I wasn't certain it would work. So that's the second thing, personal development. Um, the third thing is to stay current, much like what just happened to me. I did not know <laughs> that the All Access Challenge Pack had went from three points to two points. So what I ask is that every day you log into the Coach Online office and you just make sure you know what's going on in the company. We have something called the Coach Breaking News. So if you log into your Team Beachbody account, and you go to the Coach Online office and you look to the right, you'll see all the breaking news that's going on in the company. Um, I can go into a screen share real quick and show you guys. Okay, so here is my Coach Online office. What I like to do daily is come over here and just make sure that I know what's up. Okay, obviously today I didn't do that, so I didn't know what was up, but I check all these. Look, look at all these updates today. Three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one. These are a lot of updates, and I'm glad that I got tripped up with you guys and not like a new customer or another coach or something like that. So when we get off this call, I'm going to go back and read and catch up on all these. I'll also come in and just kind of check on my orders and make sure that they all look appropriate and then I'm not missing anything, and everything is kind of like where it should be, and just make sure I know what's going on with my business, and more importantly, the company. I'll check in on my coaches, my commissions, whatever it is. This is where I come, and just make sure that I have my ducks in a row, and like, you know, part of my French, but I have my shit together. Um, so I ask that you do that every day. The next thing is social media. And I know that a lot of people are hesitant to begin coaching because they think, oh my gosh, it's so much on social media. You just really like put yourselves out there. Some coaches do, some coaches don't. Some coaches do it right, some coaches don't. If you do it right, it's not that bad, I promise. What we look for in a perfect world with sharing on social media is for you to post three times a day, like morning, noon, night, morning, afternoon, night, early morning, dinner time. We're looking for like three times a day spread out throughout the day. We're looking for one like personal post, just something about you and who you are and your lifestyle. We're looking for a post that has to do with health and fitness. So, you know, your workout that you did today, your meals, 
something that you learned in your challenge group, somebody else's awesome transformation. And then just something that kind of motivates people or gives them value or, you know, whatever. So one personal post, one health and fitness post, and one like motivational, inspiring, uplifting post today. That's it. That's all we're looking for. And honestly, a lot of times my motivation or inspiration post will come from the books and stuff that I'm reading. There'll be like a powerful one-liner or something in there. And I share it with the world because a lot of these things are things that everyone can use, not just beach body coaches. That's why these are best-selling authors. Um, next, what we're looking for is you to always be growing a market. Because if you are on this call, you will probably agree with me that you didn't just sign up for a challenge group overnight. Like you probably watched your coach for a while. I mean, I have people that have watched me for like a year that will reach out to me and be like, I've been watching you for a really long time and I want to join. Like a year, a long time. So it's really important that you're always adding new people in every day to see your stuff. Because a lot of times what happens with new coaches is you get started and let's say you have 100 Facebook friends. Just for the sake of examples, we'll use that round number 100. The statistics will say that one out of 10 people will tell you yes or buy from you or get started with you. So if you have 100 Facebook friends, you're looking at 10 sales. And once you get those 10 sales, your market is completely dried up. It's done. You don't have anyone else to sell to or to have buy from you. This is sparkling water, not wine, in case anyone's wondering. I just realized it looks like I'm chugging out of like a giant bottle of wine or something. <laughs> that would be wild. Um, welcome to the team, guys. Where's everyone's bottle? <laughs> um, so it's important that you're always adding new people every day because those people need to follow you for a while. So you don't want to just like mass add, ease up, mass add, ease up, mass add, ease up. That's how you end up with like gaps in your business. And it happened to me because I didn't used to do this. And all of a sudden out of nowhere, I had a month that was just like this horrible dry spell. And I was like, what is going on? And then my coach and I figured out that like I wasn't adding people. I had started running out of people that were going to be interested. So, you know, the people you may know tab is good for this. Groups for your social bubbles that you're a part of, your kids' schools, your coworkers, different things like that, high schools, colleges, fraternities, anything that you are interested in that's kind of similar to your brand of who you are, whether you're a mom or you work full time or you have twins or you have 10 kids or, you know, maybe it's your religion or political affiliation, like whatever it is that you're a part of, like socially, you kind of want to tap into that and add those people. You want to add people like you because like attracts like. And what we're looking for is two to five new people to follow you on social media a day. Then what you do is you use these people that, you know, you have following you on social media and you reach out to two to five of them a day. You reach out to two to five of them about the challenge group, just doing what you're doing, you know, asking them if they want to do something that you fell in love with, and then two to five people a day to join your team. Most coaches don't do it. Like, I'm not going to lie. Most coaches don't reach out and ask people to join their challenge group or to join their team. And I don't quite understand why. Um, I know that it's, there's fear involved. But I can promise you that with practice over time, it gets easier and you start to get results when you do it. And when you start to get results, it feels good. It feels good not just because of the paycheck, but it feels good because you start helping people. And you start getting those messages from people, I've lost 10 pounds, I feel amazing. And then you think to yourself, well, the five people that told me no made it worth it because I helped this one person. And it feels really, really good to know that you are able to do that and it becomes worthwhile, but it doesn't feel worthwhile in the beginning. I promise you it is worthwhile and you will not regret reaching out to people because when you find people like the people who are on this call right now, you know that it was for a reason. Like we did it for a reason. Um, the next thing I do is I just follow up with my emails and my messages and I check in on my challenge groups. 
So if you want people to join your challenge group, you need to participate in your challenge group. You need to post daily, you need to check in, you need to comment and like on everyone's posts, not just yours or your own challengers or your own coaches. Really be an active participant and like a supporting role in your challenge group. And then, um, you know, just connect with our team. We're always doing team calls, little Zoom calls like this. Last night we had a little invite party because it was the last day of the month. We all hopped on this Zoom. It was like a little study hall. And we all sent 20 messages to people asking them to join our challenge groups just to kind of try and end the month strong. We do trainings. We have all kinds of awesome resources um, here within the team. And that's what I ask of you in a nutshell daily. So I'm going to go over it again. We want to be proof the products work. We want to do our personal development. So we want to do like a chapter a day, a podcast a day, whatever it is that works for you. The Audible app is awesome. I'll listen to books in the car. I'll just play it over my Bluetooth. Um, sometimes when my son's sleeping, if I have to like clean or fold laundry, I'll put my earbuds in and just walk around the house with it, or I'll put it on Alexa or my Bose radio. Sometimes if I'm actually going to do my hair, like actually do it, I'll put the Bose radio in my bathroom and like listen to a call while I put some makeup on and run the flat iron over my hair. I kind of just fit it in wherever I can get it in. And I never regret it. Like it kind of changes my whole mindset and just makes me feel good. The next thing is to stay current with the company and your team and like your orders and stuff, your online office. Um, social media, three times a day. New contacts, so new followers, two to five a day. Follow-ups, so basically you're gonna be messaging people. So if today you message two to five people and ask them to join the challenge group, what are you going to do tomorrow? You're going to follow up on those messages. Never feel like you have to be on call and on your phone all the time. It's okay to set business hours. I, when I first got started, I would work about an hour or two a day. I was someone who wanted to dive really hard and fast into this. So some days I would do more. Um, an hour a day, if it's focused time and you're doing the right stuff, is really sufficient to getting this business off the ground. We call it the power hour. And it's the activities of your power hour is what I'm building for you right now. So your follow-ups, your existing challenge group check-in. So basically participate in your own challenge group. Um, and then just connect with the team. Go to the team page and check for any updates. You know, be present on the team calls and trainings. If you have to miss one, make it a priority to catch the recording. We record almost everything. It's okay. And basically what I just did with you guys, what I just went over, was all the activities that are on this business activity tracker. It's called the business activity tracker. And you'll hear us refer to it as the BAT, the B-A-T. It's in the file section of Team Believe and Achieve, and it's just a checklist. And I work off this every single day. I have built an amazingly successful business by doing exactly what is on this form every single day without fail for three years. And, you know, I'll have coaches that come to me like two months in, three months in, six months in, and I'll just flat out ask them, are you doing this stuff? And when the answer is no, I send them right back to it. There is no special pill, secret sauce, secret to success in this business other than doing this stuff every single day without fail. Consistency is where success comes in this business. So I'm going to um, wrap it up there. And if anyone has any questions, I can certainly answer them for you guys. And like I said, I'm sure you're overwhelmed and you're like, oh my God, so much information. And you're probably scared. You're probably thinking, I'd rather learn and understand the business a little bit more before I dive in. And I just want to encourage you to just rip the Band-Aid off and just dive in. This is the kind of business where you fail forward. And actually, there was a quote in my book today and I highlighted it because I thought of you guys. Where was it? I was like, oh, this is perfect for our new call. 
Oh, the formula for success is quite simple. Double your rate of failure. Successful people fail their way to the top. They're not afraid to get started. They dive right in and they kind of learn and grow and go. So um, I want you guys to do just that. This is the stuff that you have to do to be successful. So don't second guess it. Don't overthink it. Dive in, do it. You're going to feel anxious about it. It might feel funny in the beginning, but like I said, when you start reaching people and you start turning a paycheck and you start helping people get results, it feels good and it is worthwhile. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. And when you hit that very first goal of hitting Success Club in March, you're going to be really damn proud of yourself. And then when you go on from that, to become an Emerald coach, you're going to feel really damn proud of yourself. And when you knock those two first fundamental goals off your list, like the sky is the limit after that. Like you're in it. Like we're going to do this thing. And like I said in the beginning, like just get really clear on why you are doing this because it's so important. This opportunity is a tool for you to take something about your life that you don't like and change it. For me, we were struggling financially and it was to the point where I couldn't even afford the challenge pack to get started. We took the money out of our savings account. I had to actually say to my husband, like, can I take $160 out of our savings account to do 21 day fix? And here was the really crazy thing. 21 day fix hadn't even released yet. I didn't even know a single person who had actually done 21 day fix didn't exist. I bought the first one. It was on pre-order. So I didn't even have anyone saying like, yeah, this program's freaking amazing. It works. And I had to like sell my husband on the fact that I was going to do this program and it was going to work. And when it did, I fell in love with it. And I saw this amazing opportunity to help my family. And that's why I did it. And that's why I showed up every single day. I had an emotional connection to why I worked this business and why I sent messages to people I wasn't sure of and why I you know, was adding Facebook friends with people that I kind of knew, but I kind of didn't know. And I kind of felt funny about it because at the end of the day, bringing income and growing a team and growing my success club base meant more to me than the person who might not want it. What I was going to be able to provide for my family doing something I love with this opportunity was more important to me than all the reasons not to pursue it. And I just held on to that emotion that came with it. It was worth it. And uh, it was seriously the best thing that I ever could have done. And I want that for more of you. So this is the stuff. Promise me when I tell you that this is the stuff, because if there's something in this business that can be fucked up, I've already fucked it all up. Like, I swear. I'm sorry. There's a child. Okay. Do you have headphones in? Okay, good. I promise if there is something in this business that you can make a mistake with, like, I've already made it. For you and you won't die. Okay. Life will go on and you can still have an amazingly successful business. I'm proof of that. So before we go, does anyone have any questions for me or anything that they want me to elaborate on, touch on, or clarify? It looks like Andrea's typing. Maybe to me, maybe not. Maybe she's already messaging people. Thank you for the info. Got to hop off and talk to Lindsay. <laughs> yes, you do that. Have a good night. All right. If nobody else has any questions, um, we'll go. This was recorded. So I will process it, which takes a little time, and I will drop it in the team page. And if you guys think of anything, feel free to message me or your coach or drop it in the team page, and we can help you out with that. All right. I'll talk to you later, guys. Have a good night. Bye.